What's up guys to another video of TickBro. Today we'll be focusing on all that Christmas shopping and what you should be getting for yourselves all under $100. Now I just want to quickly make a quick disclaimer before we start this video. All these prices may change as especially on Amazon and B&H photo and video and all that. Those places a lot of the times have Christmas specials. So these prices are guaranteed basically to go down. But let's get into it. All right guys, so I'm going to start off with one of the most basic and that is computers. Let's go. All right, so for the computer section, I'm only having two items on this as there are no computers that you can get under $100 that is anywhere near good. So I'm gonna have a mouse and a keyboard as those are sort of the essentials if you have a desktop computer. And these are very, very great, both from Logitech. So the first one is a keyboard, obviously, and that is a Logitech K750 keyboard for Mac or Windows, either way. It is an amazing keyboard, has these solar panel sort of things on top of it. So, you leave your window open, you will never have to worry about um, charging your wireless keyboard. That can come as a great help, so in my opinion, very great. Also, if you don't have a room that has any lighting, it will still be very helpful as if you are using a Mac previously, this will be a great addition as it still feels sort of like that Mac keyboard feeling, so that would be really great. The next is also from Logitech, as I said, and that is the Master MX mouse. This is an amazing mouse very great ergonomical feel on your hands so you won't ever feel tired of using your mouse better than the apple magic mouse definitely when it comes to ergonomically although it doesn't look as good in my opinion as it has these sort of you know bumpy curves but that is part of the style so if you like it you'll love it and you can assign it to three different computers by using this usb toggle switch basically which is amazing in my opinion lots of great other features there are many reviews you can just basically search master mx review and yeah youtube will take it from there but that has been for computers now let's move on to the next section now let's go to the video section all right for video there's also only two products on this list as you can't really get many great video products for under a hundred dollars many of them are over a hundred dollars and the ones that are below are really bad knockoff products that doesn't really make much use to anyone so i'm going to exclude those so there's only two one stabilization system and one lens so let's start off with the lens and that is the Canon EF 50mm f1.8 Mark II lens, not the new STM version as the STM goes for $110 but you could spare that extra $10 and buy the newer version which has a smoother focus ring and a few extra really really great helpful features so in my opinion just for an extra $10 you'll get a better lens so choose although the 50mm Mark II lens is under $100 so if you really need to make it under $100 then that will be the one for you. And the second one is the Aperture Magic Rig. That goes for around about $97 or $78. It can really, really change from place to place. This is sort of a little basic stabilization rig. It only gives you one point of contact, actually two points, which is your hand and your shoulder, but there's no two mounts or anything. Sorry, I hit the mic. You probably heard that sound, but it does really help and it can help stabilize your DSLR video, especially a lot. This is a must if you use DSLRs for video and you use them handheld a lot. So definitely plan on buying that one. That will be extremely helpful for your video kit. Now let's move on to audio. All right guys, for audio I have a lot of stuff and as you can see I do have my iPad in my hand. So I'm going to be reading this because there is quite a few project products. There's about six products on here and there's a lot of prices so I can't memorize this part of the segment. So. I'm going to just read it off the list. We do have some headphones on it to start off with though. And those are the Audio Technica's ATH M40Xs. You can go lower and save a few bucks and you can go to the M30Xs or you can go up for a lot extra and get the M50Xs or to the M70Xs which can go for about $200 or $400. The M40Xs go for $67. And as I saw earlier on Amazon, they basically are the same price as the M30Xs, although I don't see why you would go to a lower end version if the higher version basically costs the same amount. So, you know, just buy it, I guess. <laughs> Get the M40X, and the M50X goes for around about $150. And you could go completely all out for the M70, but this is under $100, so you can sort of cut that one out. Next one is the Rode Video Mic Compact. This goes for $69 and this is very, very great. It's a new edition from Rode. And as you guys know, Rode makes some amazing mics, really crisp audio. I've been using them for a very long time. They've been my go-to mic for any situation and they are really, really great, especially with this compact mic. If you guys are using very small cameras to film, you don't want to go for a Video Mic Pro because those can be a little bit big. Those are perfect for DSLRs 
However, on the smaller cameras, they can sort of be overkill. Sorry guys, I got cut off there by the camera. 10 minutes recording limit, sorry about that. But by the way, it is Rode Video Micro Compact, not Rode Video Mic. And this is extremely helpful if you have a smaller camera. Really great addition from Rode. Haven't tried it out yet, but definitely plan on getting my hands on this. Looks like a really, really great mic. This is a must buy if you are making films and all that as audio is very crucial for that. Now, next one. Next one is if you have an XLR mic and you're just dying to actually use it because your 3.5 millimeter jack does not allow an XLR to fit into it. You will need an XLR input device, you know, some way of getting your XLR to go and connect to your computer. And in my opinion, you get a lot of great products, but they can go to the $400, even to the $1,000. But there is a really, really great one called the Focusrite Scarlet Solo. It goes for $99, so it literally is on the brink of under $100. And it is really, really great. I'm planning on buying myself one of these very, very soon. Definitely give it a review on this channel. And it works very, very well as far as I can see. You can also go to a lot of other systems such as the PreSonus ones. Although I think this one is a lot more solid. And many people have given reviews on this, unlike the PreSonus. So I recommend this one highly. All right, sorry about that cut. Now the next one is the Blue Snowball microphone. This goes for $54 plus minus wherever you buy it. As you guys know, this mic very well probably. This is a lot under $100 and if you're planning on doing desk recordings, and by desk recordings I mean sitting over there and then recording it, you're going to need a condenser microphone or a dynamic microphone. This is a condenser microphone and has three different modes where you can go from cardioid to a lot of other different um, sort of, you know, patterns for the microphone. I completely forgot the name there, but you can read up a lot about this. It has a great frequency response chart and it is perfect for if you want a good condenser mic under $100. Definitely recommend this, I have this and it works very well for gameplay or anything. It's extremely helpful. So, onto the next is the Jaybird Freedom Sprint earphones. If you guys do any sport activities, for example, if you wanna play basketball but you don't wanna use your earphones and then have that cable running down and have your phone in your pocket the whole time, it can be extremely annoying and wireless headphones cannot go for a lot of cheap prices, you know, like Powerbeats 2, they go for around about $150 sometimes, plus minus, wherever you buy it. So when these earphones are cheap, they're usually not really good. Like the other ones, I forgot their names, but they're not really great headphone, earphones. These ones I found to be extremely great by all that I read about them, and I am planning on buying them very soon. And I will give a very big in-depth in review on this. So definitely go and check those out if you're wanting some very cheap ones. Although you can also go up to the Blue Bud X's, which go for $164, plus minus, obviously. Now onto the next segment. And to end it off, we also have another two products, and I'm just gonna read these straight off right now. And this is accessories. Accessories are one of the biggest things about a desk. I mean, you can buy something, but that's just the baseline. Now you can add accessories to it. So I have some very basic ones that you probably already know here, and that is 12 South, the high-rise stand for iPhone. As you can see it on my desk, probably over there, you know. It's extremely great, slick look. If you wanna charge your iPhone and actually make it look really nice, definitely buy that. You probably already knew that. It's amazing, amazing stand. Best for iPhone by far. Now to the next one is the Griffin elevator stand. As you can see, I also have that on my Mac. This helps height, like, you know, add some height to your MacBook or, you know, any laptop that is around 13 inches or 15 inches. It is extremely helpful and it helps make your Mac screen up to eye level, which can be very helpful. Although when you type, it does start wiggling a bit, so an external keyboard will be very helpful. Go right up to the top of the list for the K750, which could also be really helpful. So, hope you guys did enjoy this video and have a really great Christmas. These hopefully can make it amazing Christmas for you. But, hope you guys did enjoy it and we'll see you guys in the next one.